Uh, my name's Rick, and I believe I've been fostering for about two and a half years now. Teresa was right here. She is a kitten that we got about six months ago. She suffers from grand mal seizures. Um, when we first got her, they were about every four to five days. Um, then they got worse to like every other day. Um, we had gotten lucky for a two week stretch, but I think that uh, we're gonna have to just keep balancing and changing the medications until we find something that works for her. Tux is a nine year old uh, male that we got. Uh, he was missing for all over parts of his body and um, we took him in to get uh, him back to health, give him his medications until he was back to normal. When we, I believe we got Tux first and then Chorizo came in. Um, when we got Chorizo, the first couple of seizures uh, Chorizo had, Tux had thought it was playtime because she was spinning around and, and uh, going into a seizure and he was unaware that she was actually uh, having a medical condition. Um, after he learned, after the third or fourth time, he started to be real concerned with her, uh, laid next to her, tried to bathe her when, when the, the episode was over and just tried to comfort her. So uh, he's been doing that ever since and he's been like a godsend to her and you know, a big brother. Um, I first started working with Jasmine and then it was Megan and Aaliyah and I think now it's Nadja. Um, the, the tremendous support they give us uh, fosters um, give us the chance to foster and the thing is is that uh, we enjoy getting the cats that are, are a little tougher to deal with and that not everybody wants. Um, they give us the most pleasure because they're the ones that have to work the hardest for us and to be able to work with the Humane Society and the ladies I listed um, and the doctor, uh, they have made sure that they answer texts and phone calls at all times and they're very supportive of us as we are of them and it, uh, we work hand in hand and give the cats and dogs a better life. So with Chorizo, we have to give her three different medications, or it's down to two now, but she gets them three times a day. Um, luckily for us, the, the Humane Society uh, makes sure we have the proper medication and everything's taken care of for that. Um, so the only thing we have to do is give her the medication and, and everything's good from there. We took Chorizo knowing that the chances are we were gonna end up having her until um, we either got her completely cured to where she'd be adoptable, or we were just gonna keep her until um, one of us passes away. I've seen at some shelters that they'll put them down because they're just, their chances of being adopted are not good and then their, you know, their life in a cage probably isn't much better. Um, luckily for like, I found out about the foster program and hopefully more people do, it gives these cats and dogs and other animals a chance to live and prosper and actually find a forever home.